Apply to the EOP program by selecting Supporting Information. You will get the option to apply, select Yes. If you previously attended a CSU, you'll say yes or no, but that's not applicable for us at the moment. If you participated in any of these educational programs, it's going to ask you how many years. You're going to need to put all that information in. But for this video, we're going to select no. This is where you will input your family information, where you're going to live, whether it's on campus with your parents, off campus, or in other location. We're going to say on campus. Now, how many brothers and sisters are currently attending a K-12 school? And then you will also put in how many are currently attending or attended college, as well as how many received a bachelor's degree. Now, this is where you input multiple languages. If more than one, that is fine. Now, when you look at the rest, you'll have to input your family receiving any public assistance, and it's going to ask you for how many years and what type. And the other two questions are going to provide the same information. So here, for now, on this video, we're going to select no. Now, you will save and continue. Each step is saved, so you can proceed to the next section. This will be your parent slash guardian information and financial status. The question is asking if you would like to continue the application. You will say no if you choose to do it later and say yes if you would like to do it right now. So you will input your parent number one's information. It's up to you to decide who you would like to be parent slash guardian number one. You also get the option to do a second parent. You can say yes or no. Their information is considered optional, but you have to at least put in one parent's information. Now for financial status, you're going to need to also complete your FAFSA application, which this will verify and be verified by that FAFSA app. So you're going to need to input your estimated slash actual family income according to 2020, as well as 2019's information for parent one, as well as if you selected to have parent two's information, you would put the information as well. Now, remember, the FAFSA application or California Dream Act application is required, and EOP will be checking that as well. So be sure to fill that out within the deadlines for each campus. Now, make sure you have the most accurate information that you can as close to the actual numbers that you can. And you can state whether you're independent of your parental support or not. Then you can proceed to biographical questions, which these biographical questions ask you general things about yourself, your family's economic background, information about financial challenges. Be sure to put all that you can so we have a better well-roundedness of who you are, as well as why you would like to attend college. Discuss your academic background, volunteer, extracurriculars, and then you will go to EOP recommendations. Here, you are required to have two recommendations. One must be from an academic counselor or teacher that can comment on your academics and your preparedness for university work. The second one can be from an individual that is close to who you are. Now, to request this information, you can do it all through this application. Their first name, last name, email, as well as a deadline date. Each campus has a different deadline. Now, you can waive your right to access the recommendations. Some counselors prefer that way. Some are okay with not. It's up to you whether you want to have that app information so that you can see what they stated 
in the application. Now, this gives the option to give permission to contact the recommend recommender. You're going to want to say yes. Now, you'll be back at the application. If you have any further questions, please contact us at the information provided. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. And call us or email us if you have any questions.